In this session, I'm going to show you how to add relationships between your subtopics or the topics in your map. So here you'll see under Monday, I've created some personal to-dos. They're very simplistic, but bear with me. They'll hopefully just demonstrate the point. So here we've said that I have to buy milk, I have to call my mother, as everybody should, and I have to buy vegetables. Like I said, very simplistic, but obviously, you might want to draw attention to the fact that both of these involve buying groceries, so when you're in the shop you want to make sure you buy both. So in order to highlight that, you might add a relationship, and in order to do that, you select the two topics that you want to create a relationship between. So I click on Buy Milk, and I then hit Command so that I can select multiple topics, and I click on Buy Vegetables, so you'll see I've highlighted both of these, they both have a border. And I have two options, I can either click this button up here, this is the Relationship button, so this double-ended arrow, or I can just press L, and if I hit L, you'll see it creates this relationship. And here, with these little plus points, I can move the arrow around. So I can make a massive one if I wanted to be a little bit dramatic, and I can chop and change it as I like. To get rid of it, you simply press backspace, and it'll get rid of it. So to demonstrate that again, let's say I wanted to draw a relationship between buying vegetables and Thursday. So maybe on Thursday I'm going to the grocery store, and therefore on Thursday I want to draw, uh, want to draw a relationship sorry, between Thursday and buy vegetables. So I click on buy vegetables. It's got the board around it here. I say command. I hold down command, and I click on Thursday. I press L, and there is my relationship. So just a very quick tutorial on how to add relationships to your iThoughts map.